Let's go to the phone lines. Dr. Frank in Richmond, Virginia, listening on Sirius XM 131. Hi, Frank. Hi. <clears throat> Question, Hank. Um, is it important when we struggle in our thoughts and emotions that we determine whether it is of the flesh or is it, it is of demonic influence? I've been told that if it's of the flesh, you crucify it. If it's of demonic influence, you expel it. And I'd like your opinion on that. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's important for us to realize who our adversaries are, the world, the flesh, and the devil. But the antidote is always the same. If you read the scriptures, particularly Ephesians, the divinest composition of men, as it has sometimes been called, you find that the antidote is given by Paul, and that antidote is to put on the full armor of God. And, and Paul points out that we ought to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. In other words, the power of God to protect is greater than the power of God of, of Satan to pillage. So you put on the full armor of God. If you put on the full armor of God, you are invincible in spiritual warfare. If you don't, you're a guaranteed casualty. Uh, that means not only knowing what Ephesians 10 through 20 tells us about, but what each one of the pieces of the armor actually represents in a practical way. Thank you, Hank. Thank you. You, you are welcome. And, and, and remember, uh, Paul's very clear. He says our struggle is not against flesh and blood against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And therefore, we ought to put on the full armor of God so that when, not if, but when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you've done everything to stand. And then he tells us to stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And then in addition to all of that, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Then take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with that in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints.